So I guess that you are struggling with the view range. It's horizontal planes that control the visibility and objects in the model. It can be confusing. What is the visible area? I'm gonna explain you exactly how in this video. Let's get started. So I have here set up four levels to demonstrate for you the exactly thing in the view range itself right here. So we have that we have the primary range here consist of the top the cut plane and the bottom. And you see here it's associated level bottom, I made the bottom here, this is our floor. And the offset from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom is 2800 millimeters. And then we have the cut plane and we have the associated level bottom as well. And the offset is 2000 from the cut plane and down to the bottom. And I would I say to you down because we are looking down from the cut plane. Okay, that maybe does not make any sense to you right now, but I'm going to explain it in a minute what I mean by that. And that is the most important thing of this video, the cut plane. So as you see, these are associated levels with the bottom here. We have another group down here called view depth. And we have the level and associated level again, the bottom and the offset, I've set it to minus 1000. Because as you see, the bottom is the floor and we have the view depth. So that means what are we looking down to from the floor? So I have put up four levels here, the view depth, the bottom, the cut plane and the top clip plane. So basically, these are just levels that I put it up for this example. And um, what I have here, I have a room, let's, let's just see, you can see it in 3d here. So I have just created a room, basic with a desk, two windows, a door and a microwave oven. And what is the microwave oven doing here? So if it's really cold and snowing outside, and if you have your gloves here, you can just easily put them there and go outside. I am living in Denmark and it can be really, really cold here. So I will start to explain to you guys what the cut plane is because that is the most um, easy to understand in this case and that is the one you would like to work on um, the most I would say and the cut plane is what is like it's like a horizontal plane cutting through the model itself. So right now what we are cutting through is the wall it's the door and now you see it's cutting through the window as well. And what does that mean? Actually, that means that what we are cutting through is shown in our floor plan. So let's let's go back again. And let's see. So the wall and the door and the window, let's, let's, let's just tile this by you can do that. It's a really cool tool. Uh, sorry, shortcut WT for a window tile. And it will create it like that in older versions, it will be a bit different. But anyway, um, so here we have the section here we have the plan view. Okay, so we are cutting through the wall, we can see the wall here, right? Yeah, we can the door, we can see the door, we can see the window as well. We cannot see this window because we're not cutting through it. Let's move this down and see what's happening right now. Boom, you see, it, it's, it, it appears right here. So that is how that works. And you can also remember this in, in a way like that there is a camera looking down here from from above. And so a floor plane, we are looking down on it from the cut plane. But what is the top clip plane doing here then if we only are looking uh, down from the cut plane, and that gentlemen and ladies was a really, really good question.
So in this area between the cut plane and the top clip plane, uh, there are some kind of ca categories that uh, are supposed to be visible um, in the plan view, um, like, um, like generic models, for example. So let's say we have a generic model up here. Let's say if I have one, I actually made in another tutorial a glass table. Let's just put it in our model for this example. So it's a generic model. Let's put it up here. Boom. And <laughs> that's funny, actually, you see, now we can see it. And um, that's because it's a generic model. So actually here I have some electrical equipment and then I also have this um, shelf here. And we cannot see that above the cut plane and between these two planes here because it's not a generic model. So that explains why we cannot see it in our plan view. Let's move this. Uh, let's move this down. Now you can see it appears in the floor plan because it's below the cut plane. I will explain you right now. What can we see between the bottom and the view depth in this particular area here. And this is, and this can be really, really interesting because sometimes we have pipes in our floor system. And sometimes we want to actually see that pipe, but in a dashed line that these type of lines here and to show them in dashed uh, we can actually change it and I will explain you uh, how you can do that. You can just go up here to somewhere here, manage, uh, was it manage? What can you go to actually? You go to manage and then you will go to the, pro sorry, you will go to the additional settings and you will go down to the line step styles. Let's click on that one. And then you see we have a little plus sign here. If we click that one, we can go to the beyond section here. And the beyond is what is beyond. Blah, blah, blah. You see, I said it dashed here. So as default or default, we can have, uh, I'm sorry, it's solid. And yeah, I am I have set it into dash. So that's what oh, I can just put it to solid to show you what's going on here, you see. But this can be really, uh, oh, I have a pipe through my living room. No, that's not the case. Um, to do that again, we will just go here and then click on dash to make it like that. Boom, for this example. So I'm currently talking about the view depth here. And let's go to our view range. And as we can see, it's the offset from the bottom and down is one, th uh, sorry, minus 1000 millimeters. And I want to show you an example of how we can l make this pipe disappear. Now we can see it because the pipe is above 1000 minus 1000 millimeters. So let's go to our section view and find the pipe here. This is the pipe. I'm, I'll, I'll type DI on the keyboard to measure the distance between the floor and the edge. Right now I'm tapping the, the tap uh, button to, to let this sh uh, highlight. I'll click that one and let's see what it says. 124 millimeters down to the edge of the pipe. So that leads us to um, going to the view range and let's see. Now we have the minus 1000. Let's let's put it to minus 124 as this says and click apply. We are still able to see the pipe because we are barely touching it with our uh, plane here. 
So let's just try to put it 122 to just go a bit above it. Let's click apply and see what's happening. Yeah, it disappears. So to summarize what we have learned today, um, what is visible in a plan view? So this area you see here is visible, but you can only see certain categories like generic models, for example. You remember that we have this table up here we can see. So this is from the cut plane and up to the top clip plane. And you can see things from the cut plane and down to what value the view depth is set to. So that means that you have these 1500 plus the additional 500 you set from the bottom and down. And then again, the view depth here, you add extra minus 500 millimeters to the whole view range. Um, you add from the bottom and down. So that means that you are actually um, able to see through the floor if you need to see a pipe in a floor system, for example. So yeah, that's it. Please consider to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And yeah, of course, I would be so happy if you liked the video as well. Thank you for watching.